right, so you got Who We Are. Oh, I just wanted to bring another excerpt from Who We Are. If you guys have Netflix, Who We Are, A Chronicle of Racism in America, Jeffrey Robinson is a, a civil rights um, lawyer. He's a very good host with this um, documentary, and it's mm-hmm. a very good documentary. But every other day, I try to bring uh, um, some, some information that he shared mm-hmm. in this documentary. And today I wanted to talk about when he was mentioning, we talk about the Southern states and mm-hmm. the Civil War and the fight that they had with the Northerners mm-hmm. and the Southerners. And of course, the Northern won, won that fight, but it was partly about slavery. They didn't want to let it go. They was making big money on it. So think about it. After the war, the Northern, you would think the Northerner was against it, nothing to do with it, Mm -hmm. don't even want to give money to it or even allow it to take place. Not true in the state of New York. Mm -hmm. New York was still trying to hold on to it. Trying to hold on to it because it was about money. Okay. Let me read to you. Slavery in New York ended 1857. Mm-hmm. Some slave owners will come to certain areas in New York to have their slaves insured. Mm. That's what you said, Edna. AIG and Etna was the big places that the insurance So the companies. ones from the South came to New York to get their slaves insured? Slaves insured. I'm going to New York, Hazel. What you doing? And they, sla- they, they insured them like they were goods. Okay. In New York, the slave owners were able to receive financing for their slaves as property. Mm-hmm. They got money for having us as slaves. Mm-hmm. They made big money. And New York wanted to tap into that. Yeah. So- of course, insuring these guys, they get the, the premiums that you pay in mm-hmm. was millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. New York's municipal market, which was a famous area, they got the sign up if you even go. I so don't if know. You what, go to New York now. It may be in Manhattan. I'm okay. not sure of the location. They would use this area to rent out slaves for the day while you're in New York. So it was like um, instead of rent a maid, it was rent a slave. You need a slave. You'll meet at that market. Wow. You pay, rent them. So you didn't even have to buy them. You like rent, rent a car. Them. Wow. I need a car while I'm in New York. So slaves was being rented in New York. Now we think about the North and being free. That Southerners would come on up. I need a slave for today. Uh, maybe like five. Huh? South Carolina. What about South Carolina? No, yeah, I asked her. She's talking about New York I'm right talking now. about the city of New York, which yeah. is the North. Remember yeah. the North and the South fought yeah. the Civil War. But this is New York, a city in the north, mm-hmm. still, but still making money. Out. And then um, one of the things that he shared, uh, the mayor of New York City at that time, um, he was an advocate that, that they leave. He wanted to leave the Union in the, in the during the Civil War. He didn't say join the Confederacy. He stated, this is his comment. This is they got him on a quote. He hit this okay. quote with our aggrieved brethren of the slave states. We have friendly relations and a common sympathy. Mm -hmm. We have not participated in the warfare upon their constitutional rights Mm -hmm. or their domestic institutions. This was Mayor Fernando Wood in 1861. Yeah, I'd have our name. Jeffrey Robinson was saying what he was pretty much saying is we can't give this up. If we withdraw from the union, we don't have to join the South. Mm-hmm. We can make business deals with the North mm. and business deals with the South. He saw it as he money. He saw it as money. I don't care about them slaves. I want to make money off of this. And the value of an enslaved people, $3.5 billion. The number of enslaved people was $4 million. So wow. they made big bucks in the state of New York. With the whole slave trade thing, so and I didn't know you could rent a slave. Yeah, in in that area of New York, they actually have the sign up. If you look historically, one of those historic um, uh, monuments, mm-hmm. rent a slave, rent a slave. Wow. It was a market in that area. Wow. But I just wanted to share that. But Kathy, you guys need to see this documentary. Kathy Carter says Civil War. You must have said a war, Civil War. Mm-hmm, the Civil Emerald War says I have it queued up to watch after you guys finish. All right. Tell me up. Tell me what. Tell me your thoughts and when you start watching. Let us know your thoughts, you guys. When you watch it, let us know your thoughts in the comment sections too. You can always come back later and comment on the video. That's true. Let us know what y'all think about that. Who we Who are? We are a chronicle of racism. Sold and rented. Sold and rented. I didn't know that you could rent slaves. I didn't know you could rent slaves. And when they leave, because um, they they were talking about um, what's the one the president that signed the emancipation? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln before he signed it. 
he gave, I think it was the state of South Carolina, Ma, mm-hmm. each mm-hmm. slave owner $300 for their slaves that were lost and gone. Right. You got money when your slaves would leave. Thank you. All right. That's a lot of money. Yep. If you have like 30 slaves on your and property. And again, it's not, this is not about, slavery is not about making white people feel bad. Right. I agree no, with Candace. history. Everybody it's history. has slaves. Yeah, but you got to know history. The real history, not yeah. what somebody wants to tell you, but a real history. Right. She's making her own narrative, and I don't like Thank that. You. Go ahead. All right. Um, now, I saw this on um, Facebook. Kev on stage, you know him, the comedian. Uh-huh. He's funny, and he always has funny um, clips.